Hi, I'm Stefan Kesting from Self Defense Tutorials. Today, how to make a fist, what the most common mistakes are when making a fist, and some alternate ways of making fists that you might want to know about. So, how to make a fist. Basically, you're going to take your hand, and you're going to roll your fingers down. You're going to roll the top digits first, then you're going to roll into your hand, and then your thumb comes across this part of the fist. This is a very, very common mistake to leave the thumb out here, to leave the thumb here, or to have these fingers semi-closed or some of them open like that. That's all problematical. The most common mistake is probably having the thumb on the side like this. This is very instinctive, but it's a mistake. The problem is when you're actually hitting something, this thumb is exposed. You're compressing this thumb exactly the way that I said to for a grip strip video that I shot earlier on the Self-Defense Tutorials channel. So if you hit somebody like this and this thumb catches, you can actually break your thumb quite easily. Another very common problem is wrist alignment. The wrist should be flat. It should look like there's a board could lie on the top of your forearm and your fist. If it's bent like this and you hit, especially if you hit hard, it's gonna bend the wrist like that. And once again, you'll do damage to the wrist. Less common is this. Here you could hurt your wrist going backwards or more likely you're gonna make impact with these knuckles, which is not what you should be making impact with. We're gonna look into exactly which knuckles to make impact with in a different video later on on this channel, so subscribe, and then you won't miss that. But in general, you wanna hit with these knuckles here, not these knuckles here. So punching like this is a problem. Punching like this is a problem. Punching with your wrist bent like this is a problem because you can break your wrist that way. Now, let's look at some other ways to form fists. There's only one other way that I recommend. This is a type of fist that showed up in the Emperado method of Kajukembo, which I studied under Philip Jelena years ago. A very, very tough, very good system of self-defense. You also see it in older systems of Shorinru. There's also photos of Gishin Funakoshi, the founder of Shotokan, doing this kind of fist. Basically, you're gonna go here, and you're gonna fold in these three fingers just like you did before. Then your pointer finger comes down and you see it's straight. These fingers are all bent, this finger is straight, and this thumb folds over top. So once again, these three fingers fold. You're here, bang, bang, you're shooting somebody. Then this finger comes down straight and that folds over top. Now, a couple of caveats. You gotta practice this a lot for this to become instinctive. If we're here and I'm gonna punch you, I've got to know how to make a fist very, very fast, right? Between here and here, it has to go from an open hand to a fist. If I'm not used to folding this hand into that configuration and I catch it halfway, I'm gonna break something. So I've got to get a lot of practice before I punch like this, and I've got to practice making it on the fly. There are various explanations for this kind of fist. Some of them directly contradict each other. When I was first shown this, they told me, that the reason you want this kind of fist is because it allows more of a snapping and digging action with the knuckles. You might hit somebody here and then you might snap them here and it allows you to bend the wrist like that and really dig in with your back fist. On the exact opposite end of the spectrum, you read about this kind of fist and they say, do this because it stabilizes the wrist and it makes this one entire block so you can hit them more powerfully. I don't know the anatomy of why this works. All I know is having punched a lot of things with this kind of fist and this kind of fist, I know that they both work. So what are some other kinds of fists that don't work in my opinion? If you go to Kung Fu, if you go to older systems, there's a million kinds of stupid kinds of fists. You got your Phoenix eye fist where you're hitting just with one knuckle here. You got your dragon fist where you're hitting here. You got your leopard fist where you're hitting with these extended knuckles here. Sure, it all kind of sort of works. It's based on pressure point hitting. In general, Pressure point hitting is not a good investment of your time and money. Maybe we'll make another video on this channel about why pressure point hitting, for the most part, is bullshit. Pressure point hitting, for the most part, isn't a good investment of your training time. So there are many, many other kinds of fists. You know, Phoenix Eye, Dragon's Fist, Leopard's Paw, Useless Fist, Imaginary Friend Fist. This is all stuff that you shouldn't concentrate on. Stick with the stuff that works. This. And if you want to play with something else, you want to drive your instructor crazy, ask them about the Emperado Method fist or the old Shorn Ryu fist 
with the old Gishin Funakoshi fist. So, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you on the next video, probably where we'll be talking about which knuckles you should be hitting with. You should be hitting with these knuckles or these knuckles. That's a good way to start a debate in martial arts class, and we'll jump into it in the next video.